Okay, and we're back. And, uh, maybe you guys can tell, maybe you can't, but there's, uh, some structural or architectural changes, I think is a better way of saying it, uh, that I've done since the last video. Um, I've updated things a little bit. I've brought in a couple of raven sort of statues and, um, put up, uh, you know, some different sculptures and stuff like that, which kind of, I feel like makes the room look a bit cooler. Also, I changed the throne because the other one reminded me too much of Game of Thrones and it felt like a ripoff. So we've got this here. It's, um, you know, a little bit more majestic looking, I guess. Um, but I like it. I think it looks, you know, like a complete overcompensation, which is exactly what I was looking for. Um, with that, what was I going to... Oh, yeah. Uh, inventory. I actually uh, added some new stuff. I made myself a new bit of armor. I know the color scheme doesn't go together at all, but, um... You know, I was making use of what, uh, material I had, you know? Um, I, 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 I typically, um, prefer practicality over aesthetic, so even though, you know, it has, like, this purple, teal, weird sort of look to it, um, I'm okay with that as long as it, as, as long as it's better than what I had, and this is quite a bit better than what I had. Um, I gave Cassandra better armor as well, I gave a couple people, all the, all the warriors have better armor. Uh, she had like a 160 or something like that, and, I, and now she has this. Um, it looks a little bit more fortified. Uh, it has this um, sort of green and purple um, color mixture, which once again isn't exactly the most pretty. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Um, Blackwall, for the longest time, had the Templar Commander armor, and I really liked him wearing this. It looked really cool. Um, but it was becoming impractical because, you know, as he's been leveling up more and more... Um, the armor is becoming less and less effective. So uh, I basically remade the the battle master coat three times for uh, Iron Bull, Blackwall, and uh, Cassandra, and uh, just used them accordingly. So now Blackwall has it, and um, I think it works pretty well. And then Iron Bull has it as well, and his was way down. I think he had like a 130 or something like that. So uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and go to the war room, uh, take care of the few little things we have in there. Then after that, I'm not sure what we'll do. We'll figure it out, though. I usually map out what my plan is for the video beforehand, but, uh... This time around, I didn't. I just decided to just jump right into it. Alright. It's all Orlay. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the consequences of Blackwall's lie. We have sent me uh, emissaries with formal apologies. We returned all that could be returned. Uh, we paid in kind for what we could not. Oleana will store the Grey Warden treaties in the Skyhold archives in remembrance of mistakes, mistakes made and lessons learned. So that's the reparations for the mistakes that happened regarding Blackwall. Uh, judgment. Mavrin's arrived. Mavrin and his clan entered the Silent Plains, intending to settle where no claims currently exist. They were exceptionally difficult to track once they left the Imper uh, Imperial Highway. Uh, we have no word on their current location. And then evading the crows. Loliana, it's been a pleasure, Zevran. It's pretty quick and simple. The Hunter Shade... Dracolisk. Sure. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is something that is best for Cullen. Maybe not. I was going to say it would be best for Cullen, but we'll, we'll find out. No, I'm just waiting like everyone else. Not for much longer. Okay. A researcher has been examining everything shown, or sorry, known of the uh, draconic species, and she believes that she has a way to flush out a creature that might serve as a mount. Uh, the Dracolisk is a rarely seen beast, wary, skittish, but hardy and powerful. Certainly not a standard addition to a stable, but in what other way has the Inquisition proven itself to be standard? Alright, game, uh, crashed, uh, just a few seconds ago, which is why this whole transition just happened. And boy, was it a really bad one. Uh, my entire screen just started tearing constantly, and there was just black all over the place. I had to restart my system. I'll tell you one thing, Dragon Age is not optimized very well for NVIDIA components, if I've learned anything about this game. Uh, but anyway, uh, so Josephine could work, but I think that she would be better served to do some negotiations. So, um, I think that we'll have Cullen do it. Uh, having our soldiers place these lures in the designated areas is simple enough. To so, 
yeah. Takes a little bit longer, but we'll be ready to make our moves. I think that only Josephine can do this one, which I haven't done for a while. Um, Inquisitor, I'm told this Gaspard fellow getting into the throne of, or onto the throne of Orlais is your doing. Are you aware of how he's rattled this, uh, his sword at Ferelden for years now? Because that whole invasion worked so well the last time, I suppose. I know Orlay is in no shape to be invading anytime soon, but I'm hoping your influence with the man could help bring about some peace talks. Considering my dancing skills, it would take the Inquisition's presence to keep me from starting a war by accident. King Alistair. Alright. Um, Josephine obviously is the only one that can do anything, so... Uh, there's a great deal of bad blood between these nations, but I will do my best to facilitate their talks. Inquisitor. Oh, there you go. Celebrate the dragon slang. Oh, that's cool. Well, we'll do that next time. But, obviously we can't now. Um... So we'll do the hard, uh, the hard and high town thing. Uh, copies of Hard and High Town and Hard and High Town Three, uh, the repunching, sit side by side on the table along with a note. Not a Gale found several similarities of events in Varric's book, but all are slightly off. Dead magistrate was not in his home. Man found murdered in the locked room was a copt, not magistrate. Executors did not send warning note directly to Donnan. Obviously, a uh, object of plot is Sword of Hesarian, not a penny dreadful author. A uh, close look at the rip-off book shows numerous grammatical and spelling errors that seemed random at first. Uh, but ciphers believe might contain coded information. Killer and author are clearly linked. Either the murder investigation or the code might lead us uh, might lead us to a, a, a target. Wow, words. Um, someone got in and out of Skyhold without being seen. The cipher in the book might lead us to them. Do your work, Liliana. All right. <coughs> oh god that was really bad um okay so i think there's two things we can do right now uh i noticed that there's like one other like uh tiny uh little uh, little small uh side quest thing i could do or i could look for new um no that's the wrong thing i could look for uh not new but you know quests i haven't done yet with uh Companions. Hold on a second. Could kill the snowy wyvern, but I don't think I will. Hmm. All right, yeah, we're mi we're we really don't have that much left to do, honestly. For the first time in this game, I really just I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't feel like there's too much to do. I feel like I've done most of it. Um, so actually, we're gonna go back to the war council, and we'll do that little tiny quest thing real quick and then when that's all out of the way um which i'm assuming will be pretty quick because uh pretty quiz uh pretty quick um because it only costs four power um then we will uh we'll talk to morgan so red templars on the storm coast reports indicate that red templars have taken over an old dwarven port on the storm coast granting them a foothold in ferelden as well as easy access to the waking sea the port itself provides a strong defense from outside attack. A full assault by our uh, soldiers might eventually yield results, but not without high casualties. A smaller group may have better luck infiltrating their stronghold. So, Liliana and Colin wor can work on this. Uh, so, the secrets idea uh, entails... Uh, we do not want to draw attention too soon. My agents will find a way to enter the stronghold without altering Red Templars. Or the forces, um, small initial attacks could secure the surrounding area and distract the Templars from our larger plan. Uh, let's go with secrets. I like being more covert. Alright, uh, our agents have acquired access to the Red Templar's foothold in the Storm Coast. The Templars feel themselves secure. It's time to prove them wrong. Let's go. Uh, we'll bring... We'll bring Iron Bull, Black Wall... And we'll bring... What, what do Red Templars struggle against? I'm trying to think. Are they... Do they struggle against fire? I don't even know. We'll bring Vivian. We cannot allow the Red Templars to maintain a foothold here. Yeah, let's go screw them up. Where are the Red Templars? Uh, 
I don't know where. Oh, probably over here. Yeah, a small group of Inquisition soldiers were dispatched to investigate a dwarven port on the Storm Coast that is currently being held by Red Templars. The port gives the Red Templars a foothold in the region. The soldiers have cleared the way to storm the port. Storm the Red Templars stronghold. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I think I remember this place actually. Yeah, that uh, that little section was cut off. Um, the first time I tried to get through, I did that off camera. But um, yeah, so I'm able to get there now. Ob obviously, the operation made it possible. There's actually some red lyrium out here as well. There should yeah, there's enough for me to be able to destroy to take care of the whole thing with Varric as well. I haven't been to the Storm Coast in a while. I think it's been a good 20 parts or so. Probably more than that, actually. The Red Templars have dug in here. All right. Let's do it. Do what? Fucking weirdo. Okay, so we got Red Lyrium just over here. Perfect. Also destroyed the red lyrium, I guess. Yep, alright, cool. So do I I can't I can't just like step in here, can I? No. Yeah, no, I die when that happens. So I guess I have to figure out another way down there. That feels like it's gonna be a little difficult. Take that. Oh, maybe not. No, it looks like there's a place down here. Yeah, no problems. We're fine. What the fuck is that thing? I took more damage than I thought I was going to. Jesus. That was not fun. I have to wonder about the Templars who served the Inquisition. Must be difficult to see their fellows turned. Am I still going the right way? Yeah, it looks like it. Gotta get one more Lyrium. Need just one more. Looks like they're all downstairs, though. Well, there's actually one right there, so hopefully it's upstairs. This is all crap that I don't really need at the moment. Yeah, well, not at the moment even. Just in general, it's you know I've way surpassed a lot of this stuff, so. Kind of late to the party on uh, on this quest. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of gold.
I'm not doing a goddamn thing against these guys. Christ. Perfect. It only took me like, I don't know, 50 hours to finally get that done, but, you know. I remember, I got that quest from, uh, Varric back at, um, the Ch uh, Haven. I was about to say the Chantry, back at Haven. Uh, before Corypheus screwed all that up. Alright, ow, 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 ow. I don't think I've done what I'm supposed to do yet. Oh, that guy's still alive. I believe we've broken the Templar's hold here. This location offers easy access to the Waking Sea. Who knows? Yeah, don't worry. You don't need to finish that, that sentence you were about to say there. Alright, so the boat took me to another part of the island. Turns out Storm Coast is actually a lot bigger than I initially thought it was. Um, but I didn't want to do all that stuff because apparently there was a dragon there and uh, I didn't have very many potions and yeah, I could have traveled back and picked up some potions, but it's, it's, I'm just not in the mood for fighting a dragon right now. So instead, we are going to go ahead and uh, go over to Morgan and speak to her. Um, I don't know if that'll kickstart the, uh, you know, the next uh, primary, you know, quest line on all that. But honestly, I'm okay with that because there's not really anything else to do at this point. There's no more, you know, story, side quest sort of things that I can do. So I might as well uh, try that out. Where the fuck is Morgan? Is she upstairs? No, she's downstairs. Oh, she's probably in here. There she is. Uh, oh, the, it's Liliana. Thank the maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. She was chasing Kieran. She said he activated the mirror somehow, and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Wait. This isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Illuvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? I'm not too fond of being in the Fade, honestly. Um, last time I was here, um, the game kind of decided to go all haywire and uh, take up 100% of my CPU. Hopefully no performance problems happen this time, but I bet they will. Okay, so I just need to find Morgan in the Fade. Hopefully this is quick. But I doubt it. I don't have any weapons though, so I mean I'm not combatant Morgan. right now. Go back. I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now, after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. Okay, but I, I gotta get back for a meeting, so let's make this quick. We get 15 minutes. Alright, if we can't find him, we'll get you a new one. Mm 
All right. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Morgan. I just want to get out of the fade. I don't like this place. I don't like what it does to my computer. Like I'm already noticing there's some frame drops. Uh, usually this thing hovers around there 50 or so frames per second, but it's now like at 40. That's... No. It can't Who is that? Be. The fuck is that? Mother. Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion. <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kirin is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. That's quite enough. You'll endanger the boy. <gasps> what have you done to me? I have done nothing. You drank from the well of your own volition. <gasps> you... Armathal. Well, that was unexpected. You, of all people, should expect the unexpected by now. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then... You carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me. No more separate than your heart from your chest. You hear the voices of the well, girl. What do they say? They... say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end. But a beginning, a herald indeed, shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover, and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mithal, that's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends, helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> if Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves. To everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. 
Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mithal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I presume you know what we're up against. Better than you could possibly imagine. So will you help us? Once I have what I came for. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose? The reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her. And now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Oh, uh, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. <gasps> Twas the well. Always grasping beyond your reach, despite all that I taught you. You're going to steal the body of a young boy. If my daughter believes it, then it must be so. Kieran, I... As you wish, hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the lad, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or... Keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. Listen to the voices. They will teach you. As I never did. Wait! Right, Kieran. You are not hurt. I feel lonely.
She wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. So Kieran had the soul of an old god? Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes, he has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you...? I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... It is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. You truly had no idea what she was. I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but... This... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt. And doubt is... An uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. Just be thankful you did not drink from the well. I am evidently tied to my mother for eternity. I must admit, I still can't quite believe what happened. It is as if something from ancient times stretched a skeletal hand into our present. Of course, the same could be said of Corypheus. Now we must prepare to face Corypheus himself. It seems Mother was right. The voices of the well tell me I will be able to match his dragon. All that remains is for you to find him.